behind on campus. Students and former students of Byron Carr are remembering him today. Last Friday, police announced an arrest in his murder way back in the 1980s. And all these decades later, the news has stirred up a lot of memories. They share those with Wayne Thibodeau. Jeffrey Haight had Byron Carr as a teacher at Montague Regional High School. Later, they became friends. He closely followed the investigation into the cold case, even after he left PEI, creating a scrapbook of any stories written about the case. Haight and his husband were glued to the live feed of Friday's news conference. As police finally announced a break in the case. Just cried. I, I just, everything just kind of came back. And it's, yeah, it was, it was a relief. It was a sad relief. I feel bad for his family. I feel bad for his mom and dad and his brother, Alan, who never got to see this final eye. Charlottetown police said Friday, 56 year old Tuck Joseph Gallant had been charged with first degree murder and interfering with human remains. The charge has come 35 years after Carr was killed in his Charlottetown home. Carr was gay and had a man downtown the night he was killed. Have always believed that young man was his killer. Haight says PEI was a very different place for members of the LGBTQ community in the piece. He will still, from his death, be teaching us something. But it needs those of us back then to point out what it was really like, like what he went through, like the driving around at night and hiding in the back streets and the alleyways and bringing someone home. Oh, no, that was our way of life. But a fantastic teacher, and I think just someone who cared and wanted the best for his students. John Jamison is CAO of the town of Three Rivers. Byron Carr was his high school teacher. I've talked to quite a few people in the, that either from the community or live in the community, and, and again, I think it's that um, a relief that uh, for the family that something has uh, come to fruition. Um, He's not someone that anyone has forgotten about by any stretch of the imagination. Um, and I think just, like I say, just nice to see some closure. Jameson bumped into Carr in downtown Charlottetown hours before he was killed. It's shocking to hear someone that you know and someone that had, uh, you know, touched your life as, you know, as teachers do, uh, to hear that they had come to an untimely death. They didn't release any more details now because it is before the courts. Todd Joseph Gallant will be back in court on Thursday. Wayne Tibodeau, CBC News, Charlottetown. Reporter Sally Pitt covered the car case during her career here at CBC PEI. We will get her thoughts on what that was like and how it felt to learn of an arrest some 35 years later. That's still ahead.